Hello, uh, welcome to Lickley Head Castle. Um, my name is James. I'll be uh, your guide today uh, during the tour of the castle. So uh, you can see the, the castle behind me there. Um, I've started a tiny bit early, so I'll, I'll just have a, I'll just show you some of the, um, what it looks like on the outside. If I spin the camera around. Uh, so it's still pretty snowy here today. Um, still pretty icy along the driveway. Uh, let's have a good look at the at the castle itself as well on the outside. Unfortunately, I can't go back any further than this because um, I'll, <laughs> I'll be too far away from the Wi-Fi, so we'll lose the signal. Um, but uh, it gives you a, a bit of a sense of uh, of like the height of the building and so on. Um, yeah, so as we go around, um, I am going to um, repeat myself a little bit uh, every now and again, just in case we get some new people up here. Um, they, they want to know as well what's, what's going on. Um, yeah, so uh, let's... Okay, um, at the end of the uh, tour, we'll, we'll have a look at any um, questions or, or if anyone wants to, to say anything, um, that's great as well. Uh, so for now, let's, um, let's go inside the building. Okay, so uh, here is the, the front entrance. That's uh, Sir James, uh, <laughs> not my choice of name. Um, above the door here, it says 1629 IFMS. Um, that was actually the year that the, the, uh, this tower was built. Um, this part of the building here to the right um, was actually uh, built a little bit earlier than that. Um, we're not sure the exact date that the coal castle was, was the, the, the original bits were, were built. Um, some people say as far back as the Middle Ages, others say the 16th century. But uh, you can see the, the date that this tower was built anyway. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's go inside. Okay. So, um, just give me a second to take my boots off. Ooh, pretty slippy out there, so I, I need boots on today. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the entrance um, to the castle. Uh, we're actually going to come back this way, so I won't go through that door yet. Um, to my left here is um, one of our little uh, bathrooms that are dotted through the through the castle. Um, this one has a very low ceiling. I don't know if you can see. Like uh, this is where my head comes up to, <laughs> so I have to duck each time I go through. Uh, but you know that that's it's a castle, so there's some quirky little features like that. Um, let's go up the the main staircase here. Um, yeah, so it's very castly, as you can see. You know, we've got like arches everywhere, and you can see the exposed stonework. And um, outside of the window here gives you quite a nice view of the garden. Uh, and let's, let's keep going up. So, um, as I say, there's bathrooms dotted around all over the place. So we have a, a shower here and, um, over on the other side, there's a little washroom. Um, so this is our, um, ante room. Uh, with a nice tapestry. Let's turn the light on, give you a bit more light so you can see better. There we go. Okay, and um, we've decorated with various tapestries and um, there's some uh, weapons and things on the wall that we've put up. It took us about um, 18 months to get the castle uh, to, um, you know, a, a point that we were happy to have people in, but we, we, we're doing, um, 
work on it, you know, not all the time, but but pretty often we, we add things here, you know, if it's uh, weapons on the wall or, um, you know, we, we, we repaint or, or whatever, whatever needs doing, basically. Um, so this is a very long staircase that we're going up now. I don't know if you'll really be able to see anything. So I'm just going to switch the camera around instead. Um, here we go. Let's go upstairs. Okay, so this is um, the first bedroom um, that I'm going to show you today, uh, the first of eight. It's called uh, the Grand Luz room. Um, we've named each of the, the bedrooms um, for uh, a different um, person or a different family that once lived here in the castle. Uh, so the Grand Luz um, is the nickname for uh, Maria Luz de Landa, who um, inherited the castle from her father in the 1920s. Um, she was a, a famous socialite. Um, so this is a, like a, a 1920s uh, themed room. Um, yeah, so um, let's, uh, let's keep going. Okay, this is actually the next bedroom, but um, I'm going to go up to the top first and we'll, we'll come back that way. Because we can actually go through uh, and down the great, the, um, down the lead staircase at the end. Um, so this is our next bedroom that I'm going to show you today. It's the Forbes room. Um, so the Forbes family uh, lived here in the 17th century. Oh, it's a bit dark. Okay. So... Um, yeah, we've we've um, given it that that kind of a feel. It's uh, got a box bed in here, as as you can see. <laughs> um, it's a, a feature that a lot of people find quite interesting when they when they come. Uh, it, it's quite good, you know. It, it helps to to um, well back in the day, it would have helped to keep people warm and um, and protected them maybe from if if they brought their. Uh, their livestock or whatever into their houses, they they might have had a, a box bed, um, and it it just helped protected them, you know, from being crushed by the the livestock um, in some houses. Obviously, this is quite high up, so no one's bringing any cows up the stairs. But you know, it's uh, that's the that was the original idea anyway for why they had them. I think. Um, let's have a look in here now. So this is the Leith Gallery. Uh, we're getting very close to the top of the castle now. Um, so there's a, a bathroom here with a shower, an electric shower. Um, we've kept some of the features um, that were here, quite a lot of the features obviously, um, from the previous uh, occupants of the building. This is the bedroom. Okay, and hopefully I won't lose uh, the signal as I'm going around. There's a little ensuite here at the end. Okay, and uh, so let's go back down. I'll come back at the end uh, after I finish the tour and turn off all these lights. <laughs> Turning on a lot of lights as we go around. So we're back to the Maitland room now. And as I said, we can uh, we can come through this way. So let's turn on the light. So this is um, a naval themed room uh, named for uh, John Maitland, who um, along with his wife, uh, Elizabeth Ogilvie, lived in the castle at uh, during the Napoleonic Wars. So that's why we've given it this, this theme. And it has a little um, just washroom off to the side here, which also has some, some ships and things like that in it. Uh, there's a little writing desk here. 
and compass and so on. Okay, and uh, this, um, so this is actually a, a Jack and Jill bathroom. So it connects to uh, the Maitland room and with the Laird's room through here. So I'll just ha give you a quick look of, of the bathroom in here. So it's got quite a nice chandelier in here. We, um, we've actually done a lot of work uh, redecorating the castle. So nearly every single room has been um, uh, changed in some way. You know, just um, often to, to bring it back to what it, what it was um, previously. Um, you know, so for example, in this room, there was um, quite a threadbare carpet on the floor. So we've just exposed the original floorboards in here. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it works quite well with the, the red and the gold on the walls. So this is the, uh, the bed. So this, the lads room is actually the, the master bedroom at Lickley Head Castle. Um, and this is a Queen Anne, um, four poster bed. Okay. So the, oh, we give, um, complimentary whiskey to, um, anyone staying in the lads room, <laughs> sort of the, the advantage of, uh, of, you know, of being the, 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 the person who booked it, maybe the, the head of family, you get, you get your own complimentary whiskey. <laughs> um, there's a little ensuite with a teeny tiny, uh, bathroom. It's a very small bathtub. <laughs> um inside there obviously you don't need to wash in there uh, because there's also the the jack and jill um bathroom just next door as well so effectively it's got two two en suites okay so i'm gonna go down the lead staircase uh here i'll just uh, quickly show you um so this um bedroom has its own private staircase um which is handy and if we go down here, um, this will take us down to uh, the Great Hall, um, which we've decorated for uh, Christmas. So I'll just give you a quick uh, sweep of the room. Over to one side in the Great Hall, we have um, a little library. Uh, we have some games here that, uh, that kids can play. Um, and there's a collection of books for you to read. There's also some um, complimentary whiskey, sherry and port here for anyone to help themselves to. And on this side, um, there's um, a little butler's drinks preparation area. Um, with uh, a fridge inside here to keep your drinks cool. Oh, knocking things over. And um, this is the the fire. So we have some um, candles in there at the moment, but you're you're free to to make um, a fire in the great hall. So there's uh, a few rooms that we we have uh, we allow fires in. So uh, the great hall, um, the living room, which we'll come to in a moment, and um, the kitchen. You can make uh, fires in all three rooms. Okay, so let's go through now to the dining room. So uh, just to, to get your bearings, that was the, the staircase that we came down just a second ago. So um, this is the dining room, uh, which we've uh, set because we, we have some guests coming um, fairly soon. So we, we've set the table for them, giving it a little bit of a Christmassy theme. 
Okay, so we actually set the the table for um, for anybody uh, who comes. Actually, um, if you can just let us know how many of you there will be, then we can set the table um, accordingly. So we have um, some uh, landscape pictures and things on the wall. Um, so the paneling in this room uh, was put in um, in the 18th century. Uh, we've actually entered the east wing of the castle now. Um, everything that we've seen so far was in the west wing. So this is in the east wing now. Um, if you're thinking about uh, taking one wing or the other, it's it's quite useful to know uh, what you'll be getting. Obviously, if you get the whole, if you choose the whole castle and you get everything, you don't need to worry about that. Um, but all that we've seen up to this point has been in the west wing, and now the the dining room is in the east wing. Okay, so let's uh, let's go on. Okay, this is the living room. Okay, so um, yeah, it's 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 not not a small room, but you know, compared to the the great hall, maybe uh, I don't think you could fit uh, sixteen people in here. It's a little bit uh, cozier, and um, when you get the the wood burning stove going here, it's uh, it, it gets really nice and warm in this room. And there's a TV. Um, yeah, so um, with the wood, we we provide um, wood uh, enough wood um, for you during your stay. We we provide that. Um, there's actually a little um, cute little uh, area here. It's been called. Uh, I think somebody called it like a, a, a priest hole, but I don't really think it's a priest hole. It's um, just like a little nook for for you know, squirreling yourself away in, you know, if you want to read a book or something, you can go in there. Uh, so through this door is a little writing desk and we're on the landing here. So um, I'll come through this way. There's actually two ways. Uh, so that leads back to the dining room again. Um, and over here, let's have a look at this one first. This is the Duff bathroom. Um, so we have a nice uh, sink there, the marble top. And it, this isn't an ensuite, but it's right next to a bedroom. So this is the Duff room, um, which we've named for uh, the castle's owners in the 18th century, but actually this, this room has a Victorian feel to it, so the, the theming's not quite right uh, in this room, but it's a nice room anyway. Um, so we've put uh, Black Watch Tartan all the way through here. Um, this this room is, is nice because um, you get a lovely view of the burn that runs. Um, oh, there we go. You get a lovely view and, and you can hear the sound of water um, running as as you you go to sleep. It's um, it's it's very nice. It puts you to into quite a calm state, you know, listening to the to the running water. OK. OK, so um, now we are going to go. Uh, down the stairs here. So another staircase. Uh, there's actually um, four, four staircases in total. Um, this is the last one that we're going down. And we'll come through this way. First of all, that sound you can hear is the washing machine. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Hopefully it'll stop soon. Okay, and um, this is our uh, medieval themed room. Uh, so we've put a tapestry in here. There's a lovely chest, um, various heraldic devices. And um, so this room is a bedroom, but um, we have a very clean burning fuel uh, that, that goes in here. So you're actually able to have um, a, a fire in this bedroom. It's a, a special kind of special kind of fire that's just for just for bedrooms, or well, not just, but 
Anyway, I'm babbling. I'll 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 stop. <laughs> um, let's go into the ensuite. Oh, wrong, wrong one. Okay, so um, this is the ensuite for our medieval room. Uh, we have a shower here, nice shower, two sinks. Uh, the floor in here is, is heated, um, so you don't need to worry about it getting too cold. Um, this was actually originally the boot room. That's why there's, uh, there's an exterior door here. So it's, it's a little bit funny. Uh, so you could, if I was to open that door, um, it would take us out uh, around the back of the castle, but I, I won't do that right now. Okay. So let's go back through. Okay, uh, this is the side door, so this is another way to get outside. We often use this uh, this door ourselves. Um, now I'm going to show you the um, East Wing kitchen. So this is um, like a smaller kitchen. It's uh, a little tiny bit messy at the moment. Um, we need to tidy up a bit in here. So this is a tiny little kitchen that's just for the East Wing. Um, this is not the, the main kitchen that the West Wing uses or the whole castle. Uh, so um, the, we've called this the Edwardian Pantry because that's what uh, we think it originally was. So these are the, all the original units that were in here. Um, and uh, we, you know, as as in most of the rooms, we've just kept um, wh whatever we could um, from from the cast from what was here already. So we we didn't want to to um, you know uh, destroy or or remove these these uh, lovely units that give it a lot of character. So that's the Edwardian pantry, and um, so this is actually I'm debating whether to show this to you. Um, it's actually just uh, our boiler room, <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. Okay, and this is the main kitchen. Um, so if I just come down the steps. So um, it's quite a bit bigger than the Edwardian pantry I showed you just before. Uh, and in this kitchen, we have um, an oil-fed arga. So that just remains um, permanently on, so it's warm to the touch. Uh, we also have, you know, more modern uh, cooking methods. So you can uh, use the hobs. There's an electric oven. Uh, it's a fridge over there. There's actually um, a pantry just coming through this way as well. So, which has a dishwasher, the washing machine that was making it a lot of noise before, a uh, deep chest freezer, another fridge. So there's plenty of space to uh, to put all your food, even if you've got quite a large party. Um, so this is the the dining room table. I uh, beg pardon, uh, the kitchen table. Um, so this seats um, with with the little table off to the side there we can seat about 12 around that um, yeah and it's got uh, quite a nice view out of the windows as you can see that's where we came in and I'll just quickly scan back over the room Okay, so um, let's move on. Um, so this is, uh, we call this the, the long corridor. Um, it's, it's got the arched ceiling here. It's, this is one of the oldest parts of the castle. So uh, hopefully we won't, I won't lose you here. I'm not gonna go too far into this room because I don't wanna lose the signal. So this is our games room. So you can dress up, um, adults can play darts, that's a, a table tennis and pool table, and we have some more toys just around the corner. 
Hopefully I can uh, I can show you those Ooh, ice skates and a and a toy castle and so on. So there's some uh, old pictures um, of people who used to live at the castle here on this wall, um, and we have some more books and other strange looking devices. <laughs> uh, so these are some. Um, uh, we think they might be spearheads, the artifacts that we found um, in one of the outhouses that looks quite interesting. So we framed those. Yeah, the arrow slits, very, very castly. And um, hopefully, again, I won't lose you. Ooh. So this is our chapel. Okay. Uh, so... It wasn't originally a chapel. We've just um, changed it into one because we thought that people might like it for weddings. Um, you know, if, if they're having a, a small wedding, they might be able to use it. OK, um, so we've actually come back to where we started. So we've uh, we've come around in a, a full circle now. Um, I'm just going to uh, switch the camera around. And um, if anyone has any questions, hold on, I'm just going to go back through some of the, the comments just to have a look if anyone's got any questions. Uh, Sarah's been telling me to show the view. I'm not sure what she was referring to there. Um, unfortunately, I missed that one. Does anyone have any questions for me? Or anything they'd like to see again? Okay, so um, I'm, I'm not seeing any uh, any more questions. So um, I think uh, we'll leave it at that. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Oh, okay. So Lisa's asked me a question. Um, how long has it taken you to get this far with renovations? Uh, so the first 18 months, so we moved, uh, in, in, I think it was 2018. Um, and it took us about 18 months, uh, to get everything ready. Um, and then, because of COVID and various um, setbacks, we, we delayed opening again for another six months. Um, and, oh, is that right? Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, and, and then, um, yeah, we've, we've been doing bits and pieces um, ever since, but um, yeah, it took us about 18 months. Um, and that included uh, working uh, the works that needed doing to the roof because there were some rotten timbers in the roof and it really didn't, needed reslating. Um, pretty much every single room in the castles had some work done to it. Often uh, there were rotten joists in the floors, so we had to lift up the floors and um, replace those and, and repair things. So the, there was some um, there was some quite major work that needed doing when we when we first got here, but. Uh, the rest of it's been decoration and as you can see there's quite a lot of bedrooms so it, it did take us quite a long time to um to decorate every single room and lay down new carpets and all the rest of it okay um yeah thanks very much so i'm um, i'm gonna say goodbye at this point thanks so much for watching bye now